Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, how are you? Hello there. Hello. Thanks. How is the rain over there? Yes. It's been, yes. It's been yes. raining a lot. It's raining yeah, cats raining. and dogs. Yes, yeah, uh, raining. Exactly. Well, in my place, it's not dog and cats, but it has been raining all night long, and uh, all night long, and 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 the date. So all date. It's, it's just a little bit rain. Oh, <laughs> you're ready for bed. <laughs> Good, excellent. Mm. Ah, today is uh, what day is today? Tuesday. <laughs> hey, Tuesday what? Tuesday, very first. Uh, <laughs> October 31st, hey, right. Happy 31st. Halloween. Happy oh Halloween. <laughs> yeah. Don't fly, don't fly. Yeah, I don't <laughs> No, we're not doing that one yet. So, but uh, <laughs> anyway, so what about the, uh, so good. So I hope that your families are are good, guys. They are okay. So please uh, take care of yourself also. And let's start the class, okay? Yesterday, okay. we were talking about a certain topic that it was, I am prepared. Oh, by the way, I'm preparing the document uh, to send it to you tomorrow and, uh, early in the morning on the chat for you to practice. OK, so I haven't forget. The thing is that uh, I need you to work on some exercises, extra exercises that I put over there for you to work. OK, it will be in a Word document in a chart for you to type and uh, Lo puede hacer de, de mobile or, or, or computer. Okay, so let's start, let's rock and roll. Uh, we are the, we still missing some people, but the people are getting over here. Okay. <clears throat> so yesterday we were uh, talking about these people, okay. And today we need to work a little bit faster because of the time that we have for these, these sessions. Uh, we had to cover two sections during this week. So yesterday we were uh, talking about these people. Uh, and uh, what are they, what are the people? What are they doing? What is happening on the conversation? Just real quickly, in one minute. They uh -huh. are in the uh, Liberty Statue. Okay, they are what are looking at the Statue of Liberty. Good, thank you. Yeah, they Vicente. are on a boat. Okay, they are on a boat. Thank you very much. Someone else? Okay. Someone else? What else uh, happening over there? Uh, I talking about when I made off. Okay. Uh -huh. The Statue of Liberty. The Statue of Liberty, yes. They are talking when the Statue of Liberty was made up. And what else? Someone else? Uh huh. Another extra information that you know about the Statue of Liberty in New York? Uh, in the phrase, sorry, in a sentence. I okay. talking to the gift to France when I United States. Okay, it was given. It was given by the people of France uh, to the people of the United States. Let's listen, okay? Because it's only one minute for uh, to review this one. Part A: Listen and practice. Uh, we are now approaching the famous Statue of Liberty which has welcomed visitors to New York Harbor since 1886. Wow, look at it. Incredible, isn't it? The statue was given to the United States by the people of France. It was designed by the French sculptor Bartholdi. It's really huge. Do we get to go inside? Of course. We can climb the stairs all the way up to the crown. Stairs? There's no elevator? Not to the top. But it's just 142 steps. Okay, we say that the conversation introduces passive with by. So, and we go to the next one, not to this one. Okay, 
So passive with by. It says over there, what it says? What it says the sentence? Uh -huh. Passive. Designed. Uh -huh. Bartoli. 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 Bartoli designed, designed the Statue of Liberty. Okay, is that is uh, simple present, simple past, or future? Sim simple past. Uh, that is simple, simple past. past. That is active. Simple past, or when we say active, is the way that we usually speak. But we can say that in a different way. Uh, what is says the sentence? The Statue of Liberty. Mm -hmm. was, designed was designed by, by Bartoldi. Oh. Uh, the Statue of Liberty. Uh -huh. The Statue of the statue Liberty. The Statue of Liberty was, was designed by Bartoldi. So, and changes the connotation of the sentence. For example, uh, uh, Apple created uh, the, the personal computer. Apple created the personal computer. And what will be using by? The computer are yeah. created by was, Apple. Was created. Ah, okay, was, was created. Okay, if it is singular, we say was. Was. Okay, was. But are we uh, was. Where? So uh, yeah. the statue library was created by Bartoldi. Okay. Mm -hmm. And if it is, uh, let's say, plural, we use where. And then you, and okay. then we will say uh, personal computers were, were created, created by, by Apple. Apple. Yes. And that's a good use a good sentence using by and that uh, passive that is the passive exactly that is the passive that is the passive using by so this the when we talk about passive using by we say uh uh the object the creation plus who for example uh uh who created okay uh graham bell uh develop the telephone and what would be said uh, using by the telephone was developed was developed by by graham bell graham, graham. bell Mo, uh, uh, who painted mona lisa <laughs> uh, no uh picasso no no este... leonardo da vinci uh, uh, leonardo da vinci La, uh, Leonardo da Vinci painted the Mona Lisa. You seen the other? The Mona Lisa the, was the Mona Lisa was painted by, by Leonardo da Vinci. Leonardo da Vinci. Okay, so good, excellent. So we have some uh, some uh, the passage changes the focus of the sentence. For example, and how do we form the passive? For the simple, use the past tense of be, was, where, plus the past participle of the verb, okay? So, for example, um, and, uh, a, a Frankenstein, uh, no. Uh, uh, Mary Shirley brought Frankenstein. What will be the using... Uh, 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 Mary Shirley no Frankenstein. Help me with. Uh, uh, help me with the microphone. Okay. What would be the using by? The sentence was uh, Mary Shirley wrote Frankenstein. What about using by? Frankenstein was. Uh, written, 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 uh huh, written by Mary Shirley. Man, Mary Shirley, a good, a Mary good. Um, so, changes uh, we use the past over there. So, for example, it says over there, active. 
So the first sentence that I was saying is active and you were changing the active to the passive. Let's listen. Page 67, exercise three, grammar focus. Passive with by, simple past. The passive changes the focus of a sentence. For the simple past, use the past of be plus past participle. Active. Bartholdi designed the Statue of Liberty. Passive. The Statue of Liberty was designed by Bartholdi. Active. The French gave the statue to the U.S. in 1886. Passive. The statue was given to the U.S. by the French in 1886. Okay, I'm going to play the audio and we'll make a pause and you repeat the sentence. No necessario to encend the microphone. Just uh, repeat, but in a loud voice. Okay, I can see that you, I can see you, if your camera is on, of course, that are you repeating, okay? Okay. Ready? Ready. Page 67, exercise three. Grammar focus. Passive with by. Simple past. The passive changes the focus of a sentence. For the simple past, use the past of be plus past participle. Active. Bartholdi designed the Statue of Liberty. Okay, everybody repeats. Bar Bartholdi designed the Statue of Liberty. Yes. I see some mouth moving. Good, excellent. Okay. Passive. The Statue of Liberty was designed by Bartholdi. Everybody repeats. The, the Statue of Liberty was designed by Bartholdi. Active. The French gave the statue to the U.S. in 1886. Everybody repeats. The French gave the state of the U.S. in 1886. Yeah. And the passive. Passive. The statue was given to the U.S. by the French in 1886. Everybody repeats. The state was given to the U.S. by the French in 1886. Okay, good. I saw Mount moving, so you were repeating. I will send you this audio for you to practice. Okay, more examples. James Cameron, what is the sentence? James Cameron directed Avatar. Avatar. And what will be the passive? Uh, Wendy, Lisette, Carillas? What will be the passage of uh, James Cameron directed Avatar? Uh, the Avatar was directed by by James Cameron. James Cameron. Avatar was directed by James Cameron. Yes. And I say Hans Zimmer wrote the sa soundtrack of Lion King. Uh, Brenda, uh, no, Brenda, no, let me, someone else. Catherine Vasquez, what will be the passive? The soundtrack of Lion King was uh, written by Hans Zimmer. Excellent, bravo to all of you, bravo. So the soundtrack of Lion King was uh, uh, written by written. Hans Zimmer. I did my research on this one because I was not sure. Okay, and uh, uh, let me let me um, before we go, we continue on this one. Let me write an an example. Uh, uh, we were here. Okay, so I was saying that. Oh my God! I was saying. Yes, let me. I was saying that when the sentence is uh, singular, 
we use was. For example, like over there, I was using, uh, well, it's not important the letter design. Okay, so we say avatar, uh huh, avatar was uh, written, no, was directed, right? Was direct, um, directed by, by who? By who? James Cameron. James Cameron. James Cameron, if it were not a mistake. I uh, know it was not James Cameron, it was Lucas. No, James Cameron, right? Well, well, well it doesn't matter. It was directed by James Cameron. But if it is plural, what, what tense of B we use? Computers. Uh huh. Computer, where? 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 Creative. Uh, okay. Uh, let's say personal computers. Designer. Uh, let's say personal computers. Personal computers. Okay. Where? Um. Design. Where? Develop. Let's use I'm the word. Real. Uh huh. Developed uh, by. By Apple by apple so it is if the sentence uh personal if the sentence is plural so we use where okay so like in this examples over there uh we use we use where so avatar was directed by james cameron Personal computers, we use personal computers. Were uh -huh. developed. Were developed. By Apple. By Apple. Okay, so we use was or where in this case, in order to refer something with uh, um, some. Okay, so. Okay, there you have uh, the Mona Lisa, the Opera La Boheme. I don't speak French. <laughs> and then you have the novel To Kill a Mockingbird, the film E.T., the Extraterrestrial. I remember that I was a kid when I saw it. And the album Theater, uh, Thriller. Trailer. Yeah, and then you have the the uh, second part. So, Mona Lisa. What will be the first part? The Mona Lisa was, was painted. painting by Leonardo da Vinci. Uh, Mona, uh, Mona Lisa was painted by Leonardo da Vinci. Right. Da Vinci. In my notes. Uh -huh. The opera. The opera was composed La Bohème by was Giacomo composed. Puccini. Okay. Puccini. Yes. The opera La Bohème was composed by Giovanni Puccini. Nuts. The novel to kill a mockingbird uh, was written by Harper Lee. By Harper Lee, yes, was written by Harper Lee. The film E.T. The Extraterrestrial was directed by Steven Spielberg was directed by Steven Spielberg. <laughs> he was very young. He was, uh, I guess, about 16, 17 years old when he directed that one. And the album Thriller was recorded 
by Michael Jackson. Was recorded uh, by Michael Jackson. Remember that we use, uh, we use, uh, so the word order of the, this one will be uh, subject, was or where, plus was or where, plus uh, past participle of the verb, plus by, and plus the, the subject, plus who created or who directed. So uh, in a couple of four weeks, we say, oh, uh, intermedio three was taught by Mr. Lope. Or you will say intermedio three was given by Mr. Lopez, okay? So it's uh, it's over there. Okay, here we have some sentences in uh, active and what will be the passive. Uh, please write the passive in your notebook. Thomas Edison invented the phonograph in 1877. We're gonna write it and, and create the, the passive voice. The, the passive voice. Uh -huh. Let's take number one as an example. What would be the example over there? The phonographer was invented by Thomas by Edison. Thomas Edison in what year? In 1877. Yes. Or you can say in 1877, and the phonographer was created. But if you use the uh, year, yeah. uh -huh, if you use the year at the beginning of the sentence, then you write a comma. In, 18, uh, uh, in 1877, comma, comma. the phonographer was invented by Thomas Edison. Always when we uh, are used in the date or year, we're gonna use comma. Yes, if you use it at the beginning, if you use it at ah, the at first, the at the beginning, if it's if ah, it, okay. if you say the phonographer was invented by Thomas Edison in 1877, no comma. But, ah, okay. uh, uh -huh. but if you use it in 1877, comma, uh, the phonographer was invented by Thomas Edison. Excellent. Thank mm -hmm. you very much. You're welcome. <clears throat> I think I got number one. Yes. Yeah, we got it. Mm hmm I am putting some extra exercises on the worksheet also for you to work, but I'm typing them. So for you to, uh, in the chart, for you to, uh, easier for you to work and to practice. Okay, thank you. So I'll send it to you tomorrow, but don't believe me until you receive it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> no, I had to, because it's important for you to, Practice song. Practice. Yes. Okay. What it will be number two? Write in the on the chat. Remember that uh, when you write, you're producing uh, English. Number two says in an uh, active. Mary Curie discovered the red radium in eighteen ninety. 98. Right on the chat, your passive voice, please. I got one. Oh, good, excellent. Good. Remember that the, uh, the word discover is not, it was not created. The thing it was there, but someone discovered like the penicillin, the penicillina. 
I don't know if I'm pronouncing well. It was discovered, if I'm not mistaken, by accident for the for the person who discovered and uh, created or developed use technology, something that it was made by men. Okay. We use created, develop, uh, uh, what else? Okay, written. Okay, good, excellent. I'm getting some, uh, I'm passing them because my camera can see them. Uh, the reading was discovered by Mercury. Thank you. The reading was discovered by Mercury. Yes, was discovered by Mercury in, 19, in 1897. Good. The radium was discovered in 1977. Good. Okay, good. So discovery is a, a regular verb, so we use ed. Okay, good, excellent. What about Gabriel Garcia Marquez in 1890, right, was discovered? Yes. What about Gabriel Garcia Marquez wrote 100 years of solitude in 1971? I was living in my little cantoncito over there. What it Mr. Will be yes? What is the meaning of solitude? Uh, soledad. Oh, uh, uh -huh. it's, oh, it's a book? Yes, it's a book. Cien años de soledad. Oh. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, a, thank you. A, a very big book. <laughs> it's like, it's a yeah, it's a novel. It's a novel. It's a very big, uh, thick book. It's about a hundred. It's about it's a 800 book. pages. It's a yeah, okay. but it's, it's, I haven't read it, but they say it's beautiful. What I am reading. When I. Yeah, when you have chance, read it. But it's a very yes. beautiful book. Okay. Now, me, I am reading uh, The Last of the Mohicans. Well, reading and listening to it, but in English. Sometimes I read in English, oh. sometimes I, I read in Spanish. In my case, I only read um, books, Salvadorians. Salvadorians, okay. Yes. But try to read some, some other kind of books and will be good. Okay, what is the 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 passive over here? Oh, what will be the passive on number three? One hundred. Don Luis Alfredo, what it will be in number three? Okay, teacher, and the number three. And, and in 1871, mm -hmm. was written 100 years of solitude by Gabriel Garcia Marquez. Okay. Remember that the object in the sentence become the subject in a possible. Ah, that is something really important that I haven't mentioned. The object in the sentence become the subject in the passive voice. So we, we say it like the phonograph, the radio, 100 years of solitude. Okay, and someone raised the hand. Uh, it was one of you ladies. Who raised the hand? As ladies, one of you raised the hand. Oh, Wendy, yes, it was you. Okay, what about number four, uh, Wendy? Tim Berners Lee developed the word what? Why? Mm -hmm. The word what? Well, was uh, de developed. Developed. Developed by Tim Berners Lee in eighty no ninety eighty. Night. Uh-huh. And uh, okay. So the World Wide Web was 1989. developed. 1989. 1989. Good. Excellent. You corrected yourself by, by yourself. Okay. Someone else yeah. who wants to participate. Oh, I have like, many plenty. Of, oh, yes. In 1989. Okay. Uh, the World Wide Web was developed by Bernard Lee. Okay. Good. Yes, um, Vicente. The, the last one. Yeah. Okay, Woodpake produced the first the digital 
HDTV, mm -hmm. High Definition Television, in 1991. But what is and, the... And the passive, the uh -huh. passive, the passive will, will be um, the HDTV uh, was produced by Wipe Paik in 1991. Okay, good. Excellent. So okay. here, uh, thank you very much. Okay, the first digital HD TV, high uh, definition television was uh, produced by, okay? So look at the sentence here. Uh, for example, we had the phonograph. That's the object of the sentence. But the object of the sentence, an active voice become the subject in the passive, okay? So we just change it, like we were saying. Avatar was directed, but uh, I mean, uh, James Cameron directed Avatar. We move this, the the object, the object and becomes the subject. To the beginning. Uh huh. Avatar was directed by James Cameron. Yeah. Okay. Mister, I have a question. Yes, Eugenio, tell me. Uh, when I can use the passive voice in the reality? <laughs> in every, in every, uh, almost in every speech, depending on what you're talking about. Uh -huh. For example, you say, oh, I remember that I saw uh, the first Star Wars in 1974. Uh-huh. Uh, directed by, let's say, uh, uh, one of the famous uh, directors, uh, uh, let's say James Cameron. It wasn't him. Okay. So I remember that I saw the first Star Wars in, 19, in 1974, which was directed by James Cameron. You can use it and it's not very common, but uh, it's better to, uh, when you speak like that, and instead of say, oh, James Cameron directed Avatar. Ah, yes, I saw Avatar and it was directed by James Cameron, you see? So you are showing that you know more than the normal English. You are a little advanced. Am I explaining you and myself, Eugenio? Yes, I know. Okay. Mm -hmm. So okay. every time every time that you talk and you have teacher. Your, yes. Yes, Edgar. Yes, Edgar. Mauricio. I have a question. Uh -huh. Tell me, tell me. Uh, uh, In the yeah, in the number in the passive board not the for number years. for number ah no and number one I didn't use it but it's a, uh, yes uh, in number one uh, there is no year uh, you're breaking up that's that's why but I can be uh, that it, hello. Uh -huh. It can be the phonograph was invented by Thomas number Edison. Two. And number two. Or number one. You're breaking, Edgar. Uh, write it on the chat, Edgar, please. Uh -huh. Write it on the chart. Uh, number three. Number uh -huh. Uh -huh. What about number three? And the la and number three in the passive voice and the years not is necessary to write. No, the no. Year. it depends up to you. But but if you want to be more specific, you say the year. But if you just uh, the important information over there, 
that 100 years of solitude was written by Gabriel Garcia Marquez. That's the important information. But you cannot, for example, in number one, I didn't use the year over there, okay? But, uh, but it, to be more specific, you can, you can always mention the year. But the most important information that the phonography was invented by Thomas Edison, okay? But it's in, uh, but also if you want mention the year. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's it's uh it's uh, okay. Thank you. It, uh -huh. You're welcome. Okay. Uh, there is some uh, vocabulary. I didn't type the one. Let me just. Uh, there is some vocabulary, guys. Let me see. I guess we're going to finish. Yes, we're going to finish this. Uh huh. Uh, there is some. Uh, vocabulary and meaning. Uh, Eugenio, phonograph. What is the meaning of phonograph? Eugenio? Uh, real. Uh -huh. The earliest record player. Uh, the record ever played. Who has seen the, who saw the phonographers when you were very young? Did anybody saw? I don't know. Remember that? <laughs> <laughs> it was the perrito. It was the perrito. Uh, the dog with a big, uh, with a big microphone. Uh, it was a perrito. It was the. I saw them. I saw them, but uh, not very long. My dad used to have one, and I remember. I slightly remember. I'm not that old, eh? No soy tan viejo. My okay. my grandpa <laughs> have have one. Oh, it's, it's a play yeah. music when, for example, uh, Pepe El Toro. Yes. Uh huh. And Jose Jose. Uh, don't tell me and you start crying. <laughs> yes, Javier Solis, all of those. Yes. Things. And how how the sound is? Is it a good sound? For me, yes. Uh, yes. I remember the. Um, Si te vienen a contar yes, cositas yes. malas de no, mí, manda a todos a volar. <laughs> it used y to play, muchas más. Yes, it's, it, used to play, it, it used to play vinyl, vinyl records, and disco de vinyl, vinyl, and it was, the sound was good. Okay, Elizabeth Medrano, number two. Okay, radio equal a rare shining white metal that has a high level in of radioactivity mm, and it use mm -hmm. activity and is is used in the treatment of certain this 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 is this is this is especially cancer cancer yes uh, Brenda Claribel uh worldwide wet Sorry, I don't uh, read the word word uh word wide wet. Okay, don't mm -hmm. worry. Worldwide with a system of com connecting uh -huh. computers around the world, mainly used to access information. Okay, we are using the we are using it right now. Thank you. And uh let's see uh uh Juan Antonio. Uh, brand uh, digital okay, high definition. Sorry. Could you read the, okay. that one? Yeah. Uh -huh. um, digital high definition television HDTV, mm -hmm. uh, a special large screen television system that shows extremely sharp, clear images. Clear images. Good, excellent. Thank yes. you very much. Yes. I will type this one and send it to you for you to read it better. Okay. Okay. So those are definitions. It's important to uh, um, check out so to increase your vocabulary. So some definition. Okay. So this one is uh, this one is ah this one is the in the pronunciation. Okay, it says, what it says, the instructions? 
can read? Yes, go ahead, be my guest. Okay, listen and practice. Final consonant sounds are often linked to the vowel mm -hmm. sounds that follow them. To follow them. Look over there. Let's listen. Page 68, exercise five. Pronunciation, linked sounds. Part A, listen and practice. Final consonant sounds are often linked to the vowel sounds that follow them. The Colosseum in Rome was opened in 80 AD. The light bulb was invented by Thomas Edison. Okay, now listen and repeat. No microphone, Neil. No, no send a microphone. Just repeat, I will make a pause. It says link sounds from one consonant at the end of the sentence before that we had the vowels uh, sound like N and it's followed by I, S and it's followed by O, D, consonant D is followed by I. Page 68, exercise five, pronunciation, linked sounds. Part A, listen and practice. Final consonant sounds are often linked to the vowel sounds that follow them. The Colosseum in Rome was opened in 80 AD. Okay, repeat. Good, excellent. I see that you're repeating. The light bulb was invented by Thomas Edison. Okay, repeat. Yeah, excellent. When you're repeating, you're listening to yourself. Okay, I will send this uh, son a couple of audios too, but don't believe me until you see. Okay, audio 47, we have marked the link sound and the sentences. Okay, you have this on your manual over there. What is the first sentence, Sarai Trejos? What is the first sentence? Read it. The Eiffel Tower was an important advance in engineering. Okay, good, engineering, good. Uh, Edgar Mauricio, read number two. Edgar Mauricio, read number two. Uh, maybe he can at least say, Oscar Alexander. Oh, Edgar. Can you hear uh, me? Okay. Oh, sorry. Okay. Oscar, read. I'll give okay. you the opportunity. Uh -huh. the, the top Mahal is a tomb for the wife of an Indian prince. prince. Okay. So, Write the sentence. I don't know if you have printed. Write the sentence in your notebook. You have one minute. Write the sentences. Leave in a space that you can mark the links out. And leave in a space between one to another. It hasn't stopped raining all day long. Yeah, right. Yeah. Okay, ready? Not yet. Okay. Uh, let me look for... Um, for your attendant list, meanwhile. What the meaning of Tom? 
Tumba. Ah, okay. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. So in that place is the the dead body of his wife. Yes, uh, it was a monument for uh, for her. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, when you say you can say, for example, a cemetery, a cemetery, you can call it cemetery, and you can call it as also gra uh, graveyard. Okay. For, exa for example, I live near by a great jar. Really? Yeah. Where do you live? Uh, I live here in San Salvador. Okay. Ready? Ready. <clears throat> okay. Listen and mark the lean sounds. Okay. I see this in the example over there. Page 68, Exercise 5, Part B. Mark the linked sounds in these sentences. Listen and check. Then practice the sentences. The Eiffel Tower was an important advance in engineering. The Taj Mahal is a tomb for the wife of an Indian prince. Okay, now I'll play it again and I make a pause. And you mark the lean sounds, okay? Okay. Page 68, Exercise 5, Part B. Mark the linked sounds in these sentences. Listen and check. Then practice the sentences. The Eiffel Tower was an important advance in engineering. Mark the lean sounds. Okay. Okay. The Taj Mahal is a tomb for the wife of an Indian prince. Okay, check your answers. Hmm. Notice, notice that all uh, consonants uh letter consonants uh, followed by a vowel are link sounds was s and a m and i ah but there is one which is not ah yes it's a it's a vowel advance notice that all uh vowels preceded by a consonants or link sounds, okay? Yeah. Why false? Okay, dokie. Okay. This one Okay, let's try just one. What are the what are the what is the first picture about? Uh, let's see, Catherine Vasquez. Tell me as as much as you can about the first picture. Tell us. Uh huh. Uh huh, Catherine. What do you know about the pyramids? Pyramid of. Mm -hmm. Catherine, are you there? Maybe she can uh, uh, listen. Aha, uh -huh, Don Vicente. Okay, they are located in Egypt and also they are uh, a tomb of a. Uh, I don't know how do you say uh the the Egypt uh, I uh -huh. don't remember 
Okay, but it's good enough uh, information, at, don, don Vicente. At Santa Farran. Ah, okay, for Farrans. Okay, uh, if uh, you're in Europe. It's in the desert, okay. in Egypt. Okay, it's in the, on the desert of Egypt, good. Yeah, and the picture, I see the pyramid, pyramids Giza. Ah, okay, good, so the Giza pyramids, good, excellent. Okay, uh, Edgar, Mauricio, what about Machu Picchu? Uh, uh, close your microphone, please. Uh -huh. Edgar Mauricio, what about Machu Picchu? Uh, I think Edgar. Uh, Maria Jose Navarret Najarro, what do you know about Machu Picchu? Uh, Machu Picchu is in Peru. Okay, it's in Peru. Yeah, and um, uh, excuse me. No, that's all right. That's all right. No, no problem. Okay. Ah, no. <laughs> uh, no problem, Maria. Okay. Okay. Um, the, okay. Uh huh. Tell me on the on the on the on the what? Um, there they live. The, um, the. Mayan. Okay, good. And the ver, Ariel. Okay. <laughs> and, yeah. there, and there live two um the alpacas or uh, they, they, are, they live uh, it's a wildness uh, area also for uh, alpacas or llamas. Good, excellent. And what about thank you. Eugenio, Ernesto, what about the Great Wall of China? What do you know about it? Uh, he built in in a uh, in a China in, okay. in, in dynasty. Yeah, okay. That was built to protect a dynasty. It's a build a uh, long. It, it's a more long construction. Okay, it's a very long construction. Okay, good. Yeah. Excellent. Okay, guys. Uh, does anybody else know something else about? Okay, no. We're going to do uh, and try to answer the questions. Okay, and uh, uh, in tomorrow's class, we're going to start. I will send you to a breakout rooms for you to discuss about these places. Uh, let's listen about it and try to answer the question: Who built them? Why were they built? Okay, so let's try to answer. Page 68, exercise six. Listening, ancient monuments. Listen to three tour guides describe some very old monuments. Take notes to answer the questions below. Then compare with a partner. One, the pyramids. Who built them? Why were they built? The pyramids were built more than 4,000 years ago by the Egyptians. The most famous ones are on the yeah. west bank of the River Nile, outside of Cairo. They served as burial places for the Egyptian kings. After a king's death, his body was turned into what is called a mummy. This preserved it. The king's mummy was placed inside the pyramid together with treasures and the king's belongings. Two. Two. Machu Picchu. When was it begun? When was it? Okay. Uh, do not try to write whole sentences. Okay. Just say notes. Uh, it can be a word. It can be a phrase. Okay. And in order to answer the questions. It discovered. Machu Picchu is an ancient Inca city in Peru. 
Construction of the city started in 1450. The ruins are about 2,400 meters above sea level. That's about 7,800 feet. The city covers about 13 square kilometers. That's about five square miles. For centuries, the city was buried in the jungle and wasn't discovered again until 1911. Today, Machu Picchu is one of the most famous tourist attractions in all of South America. Okay, write your notes to answer the question. We still have five minutes or four. Please try to write. I see that a couple of you are taking notes. Uh, Noe Ezequiel, what was the information about Machu Picchu? And you don't know, and, and you don't words. Noe Ezequiel? Maybe. Ah, uh -huh, Catherine. We were ask is Vega. Uh, we were uh -huh. is discovery. Ah, okay. Um, okay. Let's see number three. No. Help me bring your audio, please. Why was it built? How long is it? Gathering your audio. The Great Wall of China. Thank you. China is the longest man-made structure ever built. It was built to protect one of the Chinese kingdoms. Much of what exists of the wall today was built during the Ming Dynasty in the late 1400s, although parts of the wall are much older and go back to around 200 BC. The wall is about 35 feet high, or 11 meters, and a stone roadway runs along the top of it. The main part of the wall stretches for about 2,000 miles, that is about 3,400 kilometers. Okay, I do have the answers of these questions, but I will send you the audio and and please try to answer um, the audio, the questions before the class, because I will send you in a breakout room for about five minutes in small groups and to discuss about these places, okay? Tomorrow, let me okay. take your attendance, please. Uh, let me take your attendance. Okay. Okay. Uh, Ana Sonia Elizabeth Martinez. Andres Tera Costa Hernandez. I'm here, teacher. Brenda Claribel Mejia Segovia. Present, mister. Uh, Cecilio Antonio Cortez Escobar. Present, mister. Claudia Maria Gomez Canal Canizales. Present. Edgar Mauricio Barrera Ortega. Present teacher. Eugenio Ernesto Martinez Fuentes. Present, Mr. López. Eh, Giovanni Josué González Olmedo. Giovanni Josué González Olmedo. Jennifer Nauset Arevalo Flores. Present. Eh, a Juan Anto Antonio Grande Paz. Present teacher. 
Help me with the microphone, please. Thank you. Uh, Juan Antonio, you were the last one that I mentioned, right? Yes. Yeah, right. Okay, Catherine Maribel Vasquez Flores. Present. Laura Concepción Mena Garay. Present, teacher. Eh, Lorena Araceli Hernández, Hernández de García. Lorena Araceli. Lorena de Los Ángeles Mengíbar de, de Najarro. Lorena de Los Ángeles. Luis Alfredo Aguilar Beltrán. Present teacher. María José Najarro Mengíbar. Present teacher. Noé Ezequiel Rivera Medrano. Present teacher. Norma Lisbeth Crespín Orellana. Oscar, Oscar Alexander Domínguez Herrera. I'm here, teacher. Saraí Noemí Trejos Ulloa. Saraí. Yes, okay, good. Yes. Vicente Israel Sánchez Serazo. Present teacher. Y Wendy Lisset eh, Carías de Cedillos. Present teacher. Okay, teacher, guys. Norma say present in the chat. Ah, okay, good. Thank you very much, but she's there. Thank you. Okay, guys, thank you very much. I'll see you tomorrow, and I'll send this uh, information early in the morning, okay? Okay, bye-bye. Okay. Okay. Have, Have a good night. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.